All right, hey there, everybody. How's it going? It's Dragos back here again, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Uh, now, I'm playing this to record another episode because I am absolutely stressed out with some stuff that's been happening this week for me, but odds are I've got it all sorted, so this is just my way to chill. Like, I'm going to relax, play a game that I enjoy, and this is just essentially going to be episode four for you guys. I'm thinking... If my stuff cooperates, I might stream episode 5, uh, because I do want to get a lot done with most of these episodes, but me keeping them to 30 minutes means it might be a little bit tricky, but if I do live stream it, I'll put the live stream straight into um, the actual playlist, which should be up, obviously, today, because when I'm recording it, the first episode's going up, but yeah. Once that's all done, put the live stream in there, and I'll live stream it every now and then, especially when it gets like the big, big things that take ages to do. And hopefully that will go well. Anyway, good morning, Dragos Juma. Hey, look, a Pelapar. Pelapar. Just remembering all the different ways they said it in the anime and stuff. We have mail. Check mail. Oh, wow. Switcher Rob, don't have that. Blast seed, eh? Um, what was the... Yeah, that was... It was B. I gotta remember that. Okay, I got a blast seed. I can take that one. Wait, can I do more than one at a time? Take job. Hey, I'm a genius. I can get, I can knock two out at one time. I'm pretty sure. Let's do this then. I actually might um, just like thinking about the music in this game for quite a while now. Um, I'm thinking maybe I will learn how to play the stuff on guitar because I actually really want to um do covers of this mus of the music in this game. Rattata! Rattata wants to join the team, accept Rattata as a team member. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna accept this Rattata. No, actually, no. You're not gonna join the team. I know I said uh, when I get team members I'd name them after people, YouTubers I know, but um, no one in my opinion is a Rattata. No one is that person. Everyone I know deserves to be something greater than the Rattata. I know that, that does sound pretty bad, but honestly, Rattatas aren't really the most useful. Um, sure, they can get some decent moves in this game, but in terms of what they can do, it's not the greatest sometimes. Might have to actually uh, level up Disciple in this episode now that I think about it. Because Disciple joined. Not sure what level he is. Moves. Tackle. I haven't even used Water Gun yet. Why have I not done that? Hey, look, there's a Pokemon. Hello. Eat Water Gun. I said... Eat Water Gun. Thank you. That was annoying. And that's a dead end. What's my belly at? 88. Gotta remember to move before I press B. <laughs> that's the annoying thing. I keep going to press B like to preemptively run because I've been playing games where you can preemptively press the run button and just start moving and you'll start sprinting. But no, now I remember you gotta press the move buttons before. Because I'm a silly. No, oh, well, at least the plus side of taking multiple jobs at the same time is I get more lots of money. And money is important because I can get more friends. You get tackled. Ooh, an electrode. Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, mud slap. Thank goodness it didn't use self-destruct. 
Is there actually um, one thing I kind of like about uh, Volt Orbs and Electrodes? Is in this game, self destruct actually, when they self destruct an explosion, I think it is, when they um, go to use it, it's actually kind of cool because it actually destroys the walls around you. So if one of them uses it in a corridor, that corridor becomes a, well, a bit wider. I remember it because it was like, oh my gosh, this place is actually destructible. If you use a move, that can pretty much kill you. I always remember that because it's really kind of cool design, in my opinion. Reach the destination floor. Now, where is this dude? Okay, so the stairs are there. I know that much at least. Can't get the seed. Moves, and we go muds. Nope. Water can. Wrong move. I was going to hit mud slap. There's the air on. Yep. And here you go. Oh no, I don't want to leave. No. Yes. Because now we go back up to the stairs, go on to a couple floors further down, and rescue the other dude. And we're going to be fine. Down we go. Actually. I'm still trying to remember if you can take multiple jobs in the same dungeon at, ten, at the same time. Like, do one, then go down further, do another, that sort of stuff. I'm pretty sure you can. So remember. No, you can't. Okay. Great. <laughs> Looks like I didn't do that again. Hmm, 200 bucks, I'll take that. Yeah, I'm sent to storage, thank you. Okay, apparently I did that. That's weird, I didn't even run into the Pokemon. I'll take it though. <laughs> didn't we do good today? Yeah, we did. Let's call a night and get some rest. Bye. I. That's funny because I didn't even run into the Pokemon, so I'm still trying to figure out how on earth that actually worked. I'm not complaining though. <laughs> Safe completed. A. Hey, no. Dreams. Good morning. Yeah, this pelip is going to do us more stuff. Cool. Okay, let's go over this way. Because I forgot we can go here. Yeah, this is one of the friend areas. Hey, hold, hold still. Join team. Excellent. Oh yeah, this is like the friends area map. So you have your um, map for dungeons and exploration, and then you have your map for friend zones. There's a lot of them. So yeah, that map is going to become way more convoluted. At least I hope not anytime soon, but it, it will once I get a lot more stuff. Oh, Bellsprout is just standing in the middle of the area. Might talk to it in a second. Let's see, store some stuff, thank you. Um, store that, yeah. Okay, let's see, that one, that one. Oh, actually, we'll keep a Petra and ch we'll keep the status seed berries on us. Um, bam, bam. Nope. Uh, let's also... Items... Oh, team. Take the Blast Seed. Hello, Bellsprout. Did you know the new chaining team? That new training gym, I think they called it a dojo, opened in town. You know how many rescue teams started up to deal with the, oh, the natural disasters? There was a group of concerned Pokemon. They wanted to support the rescue teams. So they got together and built a dojo. You can find the dojo easily. Oh, okay. Eh, I'll do that eventually. 
I should check my mail, see if there's any more job requests. If there's multiple location stuff, I'll just do the multiple location stuff. <clears throat> An Orenberry. Oh my god, what is up with my voice? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, check mail. Let's accept that. Job list. Take the job. Most of these will actually end up being just like grinding in terms of the jobs I have to take because honestly some of them you definitely have to grind before you can do major things but hey could be a million times worse. I know I have to fight Zapdos at some point though. That that part I'm not looking forward to. Anything you just up this way boys? Ah right, look another orange berry. Hmm. Actually, wait, B. Team. You're level 6. That's not bad. But it can be better. I know the stairs are there, but I do need to train up my team members. Oh, yeah, there goes that gravel rock. Okay. A oh, graveler rock now that I think about it. I'll actually read it. Yeah, just a tackle for a Rattata. It's like I don't have to go down too far, so training in this place is quite the win for me. Hey, Puchiana. Where'd he go? <laughs> Look at that, the friggin' partner goes to level 12 and learns Ember. That's good. HP went up, yep. Standard of every level up thing. Okay. Let's go up this way. Hmm, surprisingly a lack of wild Pokemon. I say wild because they technically are and how they behave as well. You know, stuff like that. And down we go. Never mind, we fight the Rattatas. And then we go to the next floor. This is easy. Down we go. Oh look, money. And um need a ran. What's that? I'm collecting blast seeds because those things are really useful um in boss battles when there are a few of those. Uh, those things can save you. Case in point Skarmory, me forgetting how Well, me forgetting that I didn't have blast seeds when I first originally played it. And then using that, defeating Skarmory really easily, to be honest. Sure, Skarmory was the first boss, but Blast Seeds are just very useful. Though, actually, now that I think about it, against some bosses, it probably won't work. Have I reached the destination floor? Uh, others. Oh no, mission objectives, yeah, others. Find an Orenberry. I have an Orenberry. Don't I? Yeah, Orenberry. Hmm. Interesting. And we will water gun the rat. Ah, never mind, he'll just mess him up himself. That works. And tackle. Is that money? No, that's nothing useful. Would you cut it out? Tackle. Silly rats. There's some money. Nope. 
Ah, wunderbar. She was my 68, okay. Could be a lot worse. Look, more money. Proceed. It was around here. I can't remember what floor it was. It was either base floor four, five, or three. Note to self, check that more often. <laughs> hey, a plus one. That's right, um, this one was the one where you could get Plusle and then Blue Rescue Team, if I'm remembering correctly, is where you can get mine in. Red Rescue Team was a GBA game. Voltorb? No. Yeah, Red Rescue Team was a Game Boy Advance game, while Blue Rescue Team was a Nintendo DS game. So, you know, slight variance between the two. Good job. Yeah, they still continue to do version exclusive Pokemon, which was slightly annoying. But, you know, stuff happens. Hey! So you just had to go through it. Okay. Oh, God, that's not even useful. Why did I take that? That, that item reward was not useful. <laughs> well, that goes in storage, I guess. <coughs> Mm-hmm. That's right, it always does that afterwards. Uh, yeah, save the adventure, obviously. Kinda need to. Save complete, that's good. What are... Oh yeah, this is where you know shit's gonna hit the fan. Um, there's some text there. At least I'm pretty sure this is where stuff just hits the fan. Ah, uh, yes. Let's do good again today. Yep, here's these ass hats. The, these guys are really annoying. Metacham, Ekans, and Gengar. Depressing, isn't it? Heh, <laughs> who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable. Who are you people? Oh, over there, a mailbox. Yeah, check it out. Wait a second, what do you think you're doing? Yes! Rescue job offers! Ooh, isn't that rather tasty? I just went Maximum Lean Pegasus from Little Karibos Bridge Series. We'll have them all! Stop it! Those are ours, you buggers. Don't button. It doesn't matter who does it. We're Rescue Team 2. Oh, oh my... Yeah, that's right. What do we... If it do is... And how are you a rescue team again? I want to know how it works. If we have the cover of a rescue... Oh, that's how much of an ass they are. Wow. Yo, Elikazam, you want to deal with these dudes? What? World domination? Yeah, this is how messed up these guys were. Ranking in the cash and adding to the gang. The world will be theirs. Team Meanies. Jeez, and I thought I didn't put much effort into my team member name. Oh my gosh, yeah, I always hate those guys. And they took everything. Yep. Can we tail them? What's up, Pelaba? <laughs> I love it. It's just like, I haven't played this in so long. I always forget what, ha what you do to go after them. Because they are... Really annoying. It, yeah, if we see them again, I think we're gonna... Info... Eh. I'll take it. I mean, they got rid of the mission that I couldn't do, so, you know, it's, it's annoying, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I mean, I probably should complain, but, uh... <laughs> I actually think some of the song, with some of the music, some of the song, what is what is up my English day? Some of the music in this game would sound kind of cool on electric guitar. 
And I also realize I have more of an advantage against most of the Pokemon in this place. Yeah, definitely. Because it is rather repetitive, as you'd expect from a game where you go through various dungeons. It would be relatively easy to learn how to play, and... Yeah. Yeah, electric guitar, drums. Next. Tons of. Why, hello there, Zigzagoon. Tackle. 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 Zigzagoon. Do I think anyone I know is Zigzagoon? No, I don't. I'm very selective on who I'm going to have as um, part of my rescue team. Mainly because I don't want to make someone a Pokemon on my rescue team and then them just go, Really? That's what you put me as? Because odds are someone will say that. I mean, I could always like try to get my mates and people I know to essentially say what Pokemon they would want to be, but that would take way too long to be perfectly honest, so I'm not gonna do that. I think the only thing I never liked about this game was the size of the minimap. And like how it just overlaid over everything. Sure in some cases it was useful, like when you're exploring in a dungeon which is really like, it's really dark, you can't see much. That's the cases where it's useful. Because then you can remember exactly where you've been and exactly where everything is, and you know, it's relatively easy. Pidgey was found. Yep, let's rescue this pigeon. Get out. Um, yeah, I'd like to leave. Yep. And we good. This has essentially been mission after mission after mission this episode. Give me all the money and points. Jeez, I'm starting to sound like Gengar's team. Yeah, I will read the important dialogue, but lines that repeat themselves, no way I'm gonna read that stuff. I'll just skip through it. Okay. Here we go. I reckon I could probably get another mission or two in before I can end this episode. I mean, how long have I been recording for? Yeah, mission or two. Let's make sure, check mail. Stop giving me this stuff. No. Okay, bulletin board please. I'll take that. I'll take that. My gosh, look at these. Taking that. Taking that. Taking that. <laughs> uh, let's do the Tiny Woods ones first. So let's see. Info. So I'm looking for a Tyrogue and a Metatite. We'll do those ones first, then we'll go back for the other three. Then we'll get more friend areas. And probably some items too. Tiny Woods. Yay! Plus that is, even when you have to go to specific um, dungeons later on, uh, you don't actually have to worry about... Um, like, if it's an important dungeon you have to go to, you don't have to go to it straight away. You can go and finish missions before you do, I think, most of the time. Yeah, I say most of the time because I... Hey, Destination Floor. I say most of the time because it depends how far along the story you are, I think. Hey, more money. And 
you give me the money you picked up. Thank you. Metatype was found. Yep, let's rescue you. And you escape. Lucky you. Uh, no, I want to continue because I got to go to base floor three. Brilliant. And base floor three, destination floor. Yep. Let's see. Just one hit these guys. They're not even using moves. Too high level to use moves. Odds are that Tyrogue will be around here somewhere. Probably up in this one. Bam. There it is. Okay. There we go. Yes. Uh, see, this is what I like about this. You can take multiple at the same time. And once you're done, you can just leave. You can get the rewards and stuff. You can get a bunch of other things. You know, it's useful. Hey, you no problem. 100 bucks. Thank you. Oh, sweet. You gave us a revive seat. I'll keep that because those are useful in battle. You're welcome. Hey, more money. I think I can get through those three mount steel ones as well. Yeah, I think I can. This might be just over 30 odd minutes, but hey. I said 30 to 35 when I first started this, so it doesn't bother me unless. There it is. Important looking text. Which means that something's gonna happen. Uh, yep. Yeah. Who is that? Hey, Caterby, what's up? Please, please help my friend. Oh, crap. I was playing with my friend Metapod, but Metapod got lost in the woods. He's still lost out there. Oh, these asshats. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Have no fear, we're here to save your chum Metapod. Hold on, he came to us for help. You think you can... Do this rescue with your amateur level skills. Wow, these guys are asshats. What'd you say? Doesn't matter who does the rescuing. See, that guy, the guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. Listen, Academy, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the thing that brings back your chum first? But I, I don't have any money. Oh, don't worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your parents. Oh, wow, these guys are real assholes. Oh, yeah, you can even join a rescue team. Jeez. That's the deal. Whoever the first to rescue wins. We didn't even agree to this. Man, I hate these guys. Yeah, okay, no. The, I'm not going to do those Mount Steel missions. I'm going to do that mission first. Oh, the Sinister Woods. Yes, this might actually be longer than 35 minutes now. <laughs> Because I always remember this. I always remember this. I'm pretty sure I have to fight them. Because they are total asshats. Hey, look, money. It's just not as bad as some of the later dungeons where you actually... Do I have a, um, many apples? Okay, I got two apples. It should be enough for this dungeon. <gasps> a swine -ub! Sorry, I love swine ups. Oh, I probably actually don't have the um the stuff to be able to recruit them now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't have the friend zone. What's down this one? An oddish. Yeah, let's not mess with that. Oh, don't miss the pseudo wudos. That's another thing you should know about this. It, those guys are really actually kind of strong. I actually wonder if I could one shot a pseudo wudo. What again? Huh. I always remember them being much more. 
Because that was a Q bone, probably, now that I think about it. Why do you know use move attack? You know, forget. That works. Find it more interesting that the person who is my partner in this is two levels higher than me already and I'm still stuck on level 10. Nope. Um, moves. Um... Can I get you to use that? Oh, I just gotta hope you use it. Nope, you are dumb. Come on, use the move. Thank you. Oh good, key levels up. <laughs> well that ain't just a little bit annoying. Yeah, his HP went up. Can I level up please? No. Nope. Okay, no, apparently I can't level up yet. Ugh, it's always annoying. Hey, look, Suda Wuda. It's like we have a type advantage of a specific Pokemon in this place. But the grass types have the advantage over me. Actually, now that I think about it, the ground types have the advantage over Prince LPJ's Cinderquill here. Hey, look, an orb. Take the pokey first. Escape orb. You know, those are useful for later on. Okay, put in a big room. Not much. This swine I picked up four bucks. Damn. Rolling it. And please be stairs. Nope. Let's go up this way. I'm just curious, though. Why on earth was... Caterpie and his friend playing in a place that everyone calls Sinister Woods. The, um, the logic escapes me here. Like, hey, wanna go play somewhere? Sure, let's go to the Sinister Woods. What? <laughs> like, would you not question what on earth is happening there? Because I know I would. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, wait, you want to go to this place, which everyone knows is called Sinister Woods. And I was just like, yeah, let's let's have fun there. I don't know, I don't think you understand what mean what uh, the idea of fun is in a place called Sinister Woods. So how did they not get attacked? What's a what's this one? Oh, it's a Rost. Might be useful now. That I think about it. Hey, it's intro. Tackle. Bruh. That's unfortunate for you. Damn, I got 75 experience for that, man. I don't like this place. You know, this might be a place I have to come to, uh, level grind at some point. Because I don't want to go into many dungeons which are really high leveled. What's down here? Oh, more, more money. 94. That's pretty good. How many base floors was this? Was this 10? Ah, uh, this is one of these ones. The further in you get with these, the darker it gets, so it gets more difficult. Yeah, you get limited view, and with limited view, if a Pokemon... Oh, that's neat. If a Pokemon is outside of that view area, then um, it won't show up until it gets within it, which is a good touch, but also very, 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 very annoying, especially in the later dungeons. This might actually go longer than 35 minutes now that I look at um, the timer. Ah, well, I mean, it's like, it's an important mission, which I didn't expect to be doing. So I'm sure you guys can forgive a little bit longer of an episode. Especially considering, like, most of the stuff on my channel. <gasps> Gummy! So, yeah, the gummies are... Oh, dear. Gummies are useful for, um... Improving... Ah, oh, you... Manus! 
That's the other thing that was slightly annoying about this game. Oh, cherry. Ah, oh, poison. Moves. Tackle. Uh, items. Let's see. Glad I get those status berries on me. Jeez. Um. Anyway, yeah, gummies are useful to improve your team, your rescue mates stuff. This is awkward. Mud slap. Ah, I got one of these. Yeah, that works too. I think it's only physical moves that will make them... I hate you. So much. Oh, come on. I actually don't have one. <gasps> get me the hell out of here. Get me the hell out of here. Okay. Use Ember. That works too. See, this is why I don't like these later floors. Shroomish are really annoying. And now I gotta go back this way. Yay! So if there's another shroomish around this corner, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Because shroomish, uh, they got quite the advantage of uh, my mudkip. And that is never that much fun. Let's go up. Let's stay here. Why, why aren't you using Ember? Okay, now use Ember. Use Ember. That works too, I leveled up. <laughs> yay, I leveled up, yay, finally. Still two levels behind the person who's my partner in this, but stronger now, that's a plus. Which means I might not die so quickly, I hope. Ah, oh, gosh. 75 in the belly. Okay, we're still good. Nope. Yeah, you do have to fight um the other rescue team. Is that Sintra still running away from me? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Come on, stairs. Ah, oh, no stairs. How big is this floor? Oh, I found the stairs. Beat moves. Tackle. Damn. Hello. How did tackle miss? I thought that move had like a very high accuracy. Would you cut it out with that? Thank you. It was either seven, eight, or nine. Or 10, maybe. I, I can't remember. Because I haven't played this level in quite some time. Oh, tits. Use flamethrower. Not flamethrower. Ember. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, I need to keep the other blast seed. Thank you. Okay, I can move now. I was about to go in and use another blast seed, but then I remembered. I need those. Oh, yeah, Ladybug. Yeah, let's fight it. Tackle. Oh, yeah, now you use Ember. What, what, what prevented you from using it before? Okay, maybe it was 10. Let's not miss... With the Linoon. Is that a Petcher? That's a Petcher. Actually, yeah. You know, items. Do I have that Petcher scarf in here? Okay, I don't. Damn it. I was hoping I did because that would prevent a lot of poison. Try water gun. I'm cringing. 
Got him but got him butted so hard I started to cringe. <sighs> Proceed. Sinister floor no Sinister Woods ninth floor. Items Okay, I don't have that many orange berries, but kinda need to get my health up. I'm not gonna mess with the whooper. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you're a water type, you can walk on water. No. I want to get off the water. Ah, it's like off. Proceed. Proceed before my... yeah. That's the annoying thing. Uh, in these places you want to have two water types in your team, otherwise if one of you goes on, the other one will keep following you and then be like, hey, I, I can't walk on water. And then when you try to go back onto land, they'll try to go onto the water. Like, they'll follow you so much that when you try to go back onto land, you'll get the prompt saying, if you switch with your teammate, you will, they'll walk to some random location. It's like, uh, no, no, let's, let's not do that. Um, how do we get back on land? Then when you finally do, they start walking off somewhere else. It's, uh, it's, it's tedious. Eleventh floor. Did this one, was this the first one to have twelve? I think it might have been. I actually, like, still trying to remember how many floors there are to this one. Oh my gosh. Let's just use an apple just in case. Follow me, execute. Executor. Actually, why is there an executor here? That's that's really worrying. No, oh, he's defeated. I think it's like you can hold B. Okay, never mind. We're going on anyway. Thirteenth floor? No yeah, here we go. Ugh. And wait for it. Hold it right there. Here's these assets. You know who's going to get to Metapod first? We are. So for you to go ahead, well, we can't let that happen. What? Hey, Gengar, why do you always mess with us? Because they're assholes? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination. Caterpie's mama will give us a generous reward, and Caterpie will join us too. Brings us closer to our goal. And for that, you lo your lot is in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Goodbye. Um, uh, items. I'm using that because we can do stuff like that. Uh, I sure it seems to be weaker, but it's still 30 damage. Oh, don't you tets. Stop. Stop. Stop using the... Use an actual move. That's the plus side of having a revival seed. Use an actual move. I hate you, Ginga. Yeah, see, this is why I hate Ginga. Items. Okay, he's done. Use an actual move for crying out loud. Good thing I got two reviver seeds. Oh, never mind, I just kicked their ass. Take that, you buggers. Oh, you'll pay for this, don't you forget it. Assholes. No one should hold us back from back now. Let's find Metapod. Uh, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. Yeah, it's like, does anything else look like that? 
Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay. I was so scared that I kept my shell hard and waited and waited. Thank you. There you go. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you. Yep. But I don't have any money. Nah, it's all good. We don't need a reward. We just wanted to kick those assets. Cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, something impressive, please. Hey. So, yeah, this is where it gets more tedious for missions, because I think at a point we have to go find certain Pokemon, or get certain Pokemon to cooperate so we can um, actually. Like, actually build the base up a bit more. Yeah, we showed Gengar a thing or two by kicking his ass. Is it gonna be a dream sequence? Save the adventure, yes. Okay, um, I might just speed through this little bit of dialogue just so that way we can... I can end the episode straight after it. Yeah, good morning, let's do good again. Uh, hello? Hey, Jump Luff. Uh, is this rescue team? Yeah. That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you... Yeah, that Jump Luff. Please help, my friend. Please, I need help. Forget about it. We ain't working. Not about to work for that. Yeah. What happened? I remember now. Jump Luff, we saw you in Pokemon Square. We watched Shiftry agreeing to take on your rescue job. After Alakazam twisted him to do it. Yeah, but Shiftery, he hasn't come back yet. Uh, that music though. Are you serious? A friend Jumpluff got wedged between some rocks. We Jumpluff can't go anywhere if we can. We can, They can't go anywhere if they catch wind, but even though the skies are filled with thunderstorms, for some re odd reason the winds haven't blown. Uh oh. Shiftry's leafy fans came up a powerful win. We thought Shiftry would... Okay. I think I remember this one now. And you're asking us to do this. <laughs> oh, God. We're so gonna die. Um, no, let's not go. Let's save. Because I'm not doing that mission right now. Because I have been recording for... 48 minutes! I'm sorry, there's, this is a way longer episode than I thought, but... I can finally end it off here. So, yeah. Sorry this was a bit longer than usual. That mission came up and I didn't expect it to be as long as it did. But thank you everybody so much for watching. This is Drago signing out. I'll catch you guys next time for some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team.